Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is video true and welcome back to Fallout 76. Where you join me here in, well, a Brotherhood base. Blimey, it has taken us uh, quite a long time to locate the Brotherhood, or rather, what's left of them, of course. But we have made it. We have found an actual Brotherhood outpost to have a little loopsy round today, including, yeah, some notes, some terminals, uh, some stuff that could be very, very useful indeed for figuring out exactly. Uh, who the Brotherhood were at this point? What were they doing? Where were they based? Potentially giving us, yeah, some new clues uh, we might be able to follow. But, before we do that, just a little bit of housekeeping to do, of course. Yep, I've been doing a bit of off-screen stuff. In particular, I've recorded a couple of parts of Cats with Dan of Nerd Cubed. In addition, I've just been doing a little bit of going around gathering up some wood, steel, etc. Because I was getting a little bit low on my basic resources. So, I have got myself a couple of level ups to do at the beginning of this part. Including, I believe one of them is in fact level 45. And that means it is indeed unopened perk card pack time. Alright, come on, gods of perk card packs. Let's see what we got here. So, last laugh. Oh, good, that's good. Magnetic personality not too keen on. Master hack is good. That's literally the second shiny fortune finder I've had. That's garbage. But, I am glad to get a free hacker perk. That's good at least. So, next up, this here is level 44 and uh, critical savvy. Critical hits now only consume 85% of your... Ah, I've been waiting for this one. Yeah, this is the replacement of Critical Banker. So you used to be able to basically store up multiple criticals. You can't do that anymore. Instead, the system now is using a critical doesn't actually use up your entire critical meter. At level 3, that's only... Okay, we've got to be having that. If basically you can have almost two criticals for the price of one. Yeah, that's very, very good indeed. Let's just check what else is new first, however. Power Patcher. Power armor breaks 20% more slowly and is cheaper to repair, up to 40 then 60. I could definitely see the value in that because, yeah, by the late game, it's very much about having a very good suit of power armor and then just keeping it in good nick. So, uh, I could see the advantage of having Power Patcher 3 up because armor repair is flipping expensive. Rad Sponge. When affected by Rad, you periodically heal 80 Rads on nearby teammates up to 200. Okay, bit of a gimmicky one, but still fun. And nothing else, so no surprises here. I'm taking luck, and I'm taking critical savvy. Oh, that is very, very nice indeed. And for level 45, dodgy. Avoid 10% of incoming damage at a cost of 30 action points per hit. No, that's terrible. Definitely don't want to do that, because action points are precious to me. But, for a character who wasn't using their action points for anything else, I suppose it might be alright. Ah, here's an interesting companion to Solar Powered, Sunkist. So slowly regen radiation damage between 6am and 6pm, going up to quickly regen radiation damage. Had that been actual health healing at level 2, might have been worth a look, but no, I don't think so. Master Commando's available, not for me of course. Ah, but Master Shotgunner is here. Master Shotgunner. That's... That's tempting. That's very tempting. In fact, that might just be enough for me to actually get strength up to seven. Yeah, I'm doing that. I will do that. There's nothing else. Nope, there's nothing else at the end there. Yeah, master shotgunner. Extra 10% on the shotguns. The shotguns are great. All right, how do we do this then? Master shotgunner goes uh, straight in. We, of course, now have the three shotgun ranks together with Pack Rat 3 uh, and Travelling Pharmacy. And we've also got ourselves, yeah, one unused point in luck that, of course, is going over two. Ooh. You know, I'd love to have last laugh, but it's a bit of a gimmick. Critical savvy is, of course, the way to go. Unless I would like to take off... Hmm. Do I need scrounger? No, I'm going to have last laugh just because it amuses me, quite frankly. So, uh, yeah, up to agility 11, luck 12. I'm feeling good about that, I think. And, uh, yeah, I've now got uh, hacker and master hacker. So, uh, technically, there's nothing to stop me installing a hacker and master hacker and doing expert lock terminals, even though I don't have expert hacker, which feels weird, but that's just how it works. Also, there's a lot of banging and explosions happening somewhere around here. Not sure what's causing them. I think there might be a scorch beast somewhere in these parts that someone else is fighting, but oh. Did I just see a flash of green over there? If I did, that probably means there's a Scorch Beast nearby. But honestly, not my problem. Mainly the problem of the person who's fighting it. Instead, I'm much more interested in the Brotherhood of Steel itself. So, let's see what we got here. Tom and Molly. 
How exactly are Tom and Molly? Tom and Molly leave now. Get out of Watoga. Do not try to stay at home. Meet us at the Big Bend Tunnel. Love, Mom and Dad. Right. So, didn't work out for them even if they did decide to actually do that. Because, yeah, everyone's very dead here. But, whatever's going on in Watoga, which is, I believe, this sort of an area. Yeah. Didn't work out desperately well. And, by the way, there's level 47 heading in this direction. Hopefully, friendly. Now... Knight's Terminal, what do we have around here? Ah, this could be very useful indeed. So Tom and Molly, who we just read about, we found a note in the tunnels the other day, along with four bodies. They've been there for a while. I can't imagine what it must have taken for two kids to get all the way here from Watoga. At least they found their parents before the end. Right, so Tom and Molly, we don't need to find them. That definitely went wrong. Now... Why did you want to go into Watoga? Until further notice, we've suspended the salvage runs into Watoga to concentrate on security here, recalling all scout teams. Fine, so they were interested in Watoga, we just don't know why. And supply lines, scorcher infesting the tunnels, moving supplies is getting riskier. It's not like I can ask the top brass to send what little they have to reinforce one checkpoint, but damn, gonna send a runner to Fort Defiance. Let them know we're on borrowed time here. Okay, if you're sending a runner, to Fort Defiance. That would suggest Fort Defiance is close by. Now, there's something that looks like... Well, ooh. That looks a little bit like... Oh, I don't know. Any of these could be Fort Defiance. That's a train station. You know what? Let's actually have a little look-see around these parts. This is clearly Brotherhood territory. And blimey, there's people over 100 over there. Right. Let's just scout the immediate area. Just for the time being, alright? Just have a little look see in the Cranberry Bog while I'm passing through. Actually, hang on, I haven't even scavenged this place yet. Chill out, John. Ah, you see, like, right here, we've actually got some level 45 stuff on the old power armor. Nice. Aha, uh -huh, and I finally noticed what, yeah, the arms do. Sorry, I didn't see this before. So, increased mining yield when the left and right arms are used in tandem. Got it. However, this thing is, yeah, this thing's much worse, so I'm gonna... Pull off the excavator torso, because it doesn't seem to actually have any special benefits aside from strength 2. Ah, this thing technically doesn't give you strength 2. But I don't really want to... Yeah, you know what, that still works. I just don't really want to mess up the, you know, aesthetic of it all. So, this is all fine for me, I think. I'll just have that new chest piece right there, but I'll keep the arms and the legs. Oh, and hello, sexy. A plan... For a frag grenade, a special type of, yeah, that'll be the big scatter grenade things. Now that, that is very, very welcome. Very welcome indeed. Though I'm imagining I don't have a demolition expert high enough to do it. But still, next time we're back at camp, have a little look-see. Now, uh, is there still green flashing going on over there? Or is whoever was fighting the Scorch Beast done? Looks all quiet to me. Nothing on the skies, no flapping, no major explosives. Yeah, looks like we should be all quiet for... Ooh. Hello! There's something big and red over there. Okay, admittedly, I'm getting a bit on the distracted side, and I probably shouldn't be. This is a dangerous area, very, very far east. I should not be just wandering around, but, you know, I didn't want to... Ooh, new plants. I did want to go and see these things. Because these things are like, you know, they were in like the trailer and stuff. So I kind of just want to go and see what they are precisely. And oh, and there's something glowing green over there. That is a bloated glowing one, level 58. Oh, marvellous stuff there. You, come over here. 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 Oh, no, the, there's definitely still a scorch piece. Oh, that's fine. You're level 22. That's not a big deal. Now... Where's your big friend? That's the big one. You're just another level 22 Reaver. That's, again, not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, where's the big lad? Come on, where's your boss? And he's... You're nothing, actually. Yep, there's the boss. Right, okay. Uh, go for the... No, probably shouldn't have gone for the arms there. But no matter. Uh, just keep going for... Oh, I've actually blown... Blow one of your limbs off. Right, uh, go for... Yeah, legs. There we go. And, oh yeah, the crippling on the shotgun is incredibly powerful. And now both of your legs are done. You're as good as harmless. Yeah, okay. So the cripple on the shotgun. That is ludicrously powerful. So you can just get even the toughest enemies down on the ground with crippled limbs. And there's no problem at all. Spot on. 
right through here, then over to these fascinating looking things. Hello, what exactly are you? Because I don't like you. Are, are me and you cool with each other? Okay. There's oh 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 okay no maybe we're maybe we're not. Oh we oh no never mind never mind we're, we're definitely not I'm guessing. Okay right it's. It's defending itself, but how is it defending itself? Was that just my thirst that went way up or something? Just gonna give this place another bit of a look here. And what is going on? Yeah, what's happening? I've found this here grove, but... Okay. I can see that you're spraying me with something. Which is fine. But what exactly are you spraying me with? Because I'm not seeing, you know, a, a negative effect. Yep, yeah, I'm being sprayed. Ooh, I'll take some cranberries, thank you. Everybody loves cranberries. Right, whatever this place is, I feel like it's probably better I don't get myself sprayed with this. Maybe we'll come back later when I'm supposed to be gathering cranberries or something. Now, as I was saying before I got totally distracted by several things in a row, yeah, I'd like to head north. And just do a little local explore. Alright, no reason to go too far. And by the way, is that... Is that Watoga? That might be part of Watoga there. I thought this was Watoga, but maybe this is Watoga. Watoga's somewhere around here. And the one thing we know about Watoga is it's supposed to be like a... A wonderful mega technological wonderland. And hello, I hear... Ooh! Hello over there! Right, I think we'll just shotgun you a little bit, actually. And that- Oh, blight! Wait, what the heck is- No, 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 you don't. No, you flippin' do not. And by the way, oh, you guys are quite tough, actually. Luckily, you've only got hammers, which is very convenient, actually. Because I imagine you might actually hit quite hard. Whew. Okay, level 68 in this part of the world, I see. Still, death claws are good, black titanium scrap. Loose gears and uh, leaded reinforced combat armor right leg. Well, obviously. Yep, yeah, that's pretty uninteresting, actually. Goodbye. Oh, except for the fact someone said... Oh, 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 hello! You're a gulper, are you? Right, sorry. Didn't realize you were going to be here. Headshot! Keep shooting! Critical, 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 critical. Ouch, you bastard. Right, gulpers are back from Far Harbor. Maybe just pack myself a stim pack there. Right, gulper innards. Might be of use. Hidden. Okay. This. This is a dangerous part of the world. I'm starting to see that. Yes. And oh. Hello. Attention citizens. Watoga is under a state of emergency and evacuation order. Do not attempt to enter the city limits. And for God's sake, get out if you're still here. Unless you are military or a roboticist. In that case, if you can do so safely. Make your way to the mayor's office in the municipal centre. Mayor's office municipal centre. Alright, well something's here. I'm seeing scorched remnants, suggesting it's just going to be scorched itself. In which case, nothing to worry about, to be honest. And, if I'm lucky, a workbench. Marvellous. So this is an old train repair centre. Is it? Yes, must be. Because, hang on, what did they say the acronym was? It was... Uh, the NAR. And yeah, there was a derailed train... That was referred to by the same name, though I'm not sure I actually know what the acronym stands for. Still, never say no to a locked safe. They're not disappointing 95% of the time. There we go. Harpoons and harpoon guns, you say. Damage 165, level 40. Obviously, it's a big gun, and I don't have the harpoons for it. Right, you know what? That can just be broken down. I'm pretty sure we don't need one of them. And there's confirmation, therefore. This here is indeed Watoga. And there's a level 128 floating around in Watoga. <laughs> because obviously. Right, okay. Don't worry about Watoga right now, alright? Let's just, for the time being, stick around close by to the outskirts. I'm not in a hurry to do Watoga itself. I'm just in a hurry to, you know, fall down into little kind of holes in the ground. Because this whole area is massively cracked. Well, actually, these are probably just little... Yeah, natural reservoirs, given this is supposed to be like, you know, a bog, cranberry bog, all of that. Ah, but here's interesting. I'm supposed to be walking next to a train line, but I'm not. 
I'm walking next to... Yeah, oh, Hang on. Brotherhood flag. I'm walking next to... A monorail. Instead. Is that supposed... Excuse me, come back and face me, you coward. Because when you're facing me, I can shoot you in the head a lot more flipping easily. Thank you. Yeah. Instead of an actual train line. Yeah, it's a monorail track. It's raised. And the Brotherhood were... Well, I'm trying to defend this place at some point or other. Anything we can actually use here? Ooh. Hello. Replay last transmission. Yes, please do. Hi, Moreno reporting. Moreno to Defiance, over. I read you, Moreno. Recon looking solid, Scott. Scanning module did what you said. Drove the Scorch crazy. The committee has to go to a part. Some of the Scorch beast. Uh, Bravo. Providing air cover. Module spit out new cords deeper inside the bog. Got the transponder up. Open it to the next site. Good luck, Johnny. Exterminators, combat armor, right leg. Bugs and Milox, minus 15% damage. Honestly, not spectacular. And yeah, it's only a level 20. That's kind of garbage. I'll just sell that, to be honest. Now, as for the message here, yeah. A different transponder signal something something deeper inside the box. They had some kind of device that was capable of driving the Scorch crazy, but then they just tore them apart with miniguns. Uh, but they were looking for something. Coordinates deeper inside the bog. And again, Defiance. Now, we saw Defiance mentioned ages ago. A note right at the beginning of the game saying Defiance has fallen. So I'm guessing, yeah, if the other base nearby sent a runner there, we must be close. It must be one of the big buildings around here. Fine, keep heading in this direction for now, because over here, this is, well, I'd say train station, but maybe not. I thought this was a train station, but what exactly is... Uh, hello over there! Yes, 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 why don't you just come over here and get shotgunned in the face? That's just flipping marvellous. Ooh, and a lockpicking bobblehead out on the roof too, marvellous. Though it looks like they're actually um, pretty much randomised. Like, I have in the past run into bobbleheads that are different bobbleheads in the same location. I've seen other ones before, but... More Brotherhood. Fine, so we are deep into Brotherhood territory at this point, and uh, Brotherhood of Steel Report. Now, what was your interest in an antique store? Scouting report. Brotherhood Squire Schultz. This old antique store has been a good source of supplies. I've stashed some weapons and ammo in the shed out back. Scavenging runs into Otoga have been mixed. And the robots are everywhere, and you never know when a turret is going to pop out of its hiding place and start filling the area with lead or laser fire. I really should have paid more attention during training. All right, nothing major, just a mention of, yeah, guns stashed in the rear shed. Fine, we'll go check that out. In fact, this place here, excellent source of junk. There's just a variety of things with, yeah, not the most common components in the world in them, which is very, very nice indeed. I'll gladly clear out this place. Yeah, sadly, when he says guns stashed out back, it's nothing but a handful of shotgun shells. It's barely anything of note. Oh, and in news I may or may not think is good, there's an event going on over there. And we got confirmation that, yeah, that's defiance. But Scorched are amassing, but the defences are online. And a level 65 is already there. Fine, so I will have assistance. All right. In that case, follow the road round. Let's make sure we don't miss anything on the way in here. But yeah, I'll be willing to help defend Fort Defiance. And what's that structure in the background? That is... That's that massive building behind it. Fine, okay, there's something really, really damn big behind this place. Fascinating. And uh, hello, Defiance. Apparently, you've got some automated defences that might actually be... Still up and running. Huntersville, White Springs, uh, Pleasant Valley. Huntersville, I still actually want to go and, like, visit that place. That'd be fun. Right, turn off here. And I think we're going in the right direction to head towards the front door. Hopefully, the defences don't actually, you know, attack me. And there we go. Orange Brotherhood of Steel flag. We are in good shape. This is indeed a big settlement. Now, I'm hearing gunfire. Hopefully, that's just the friendly little level 67 or whatever, who's totally going to... Ooh, it was an asylum. Right. An asylum. That never goes horribly wrong. Those are never horrifying, terrible murder places or anything like that. I think I may have arrived a little bit late for the party, unfortunately. I can see a whole bunch of corpses. 
and a whole bunch of stuff here, including a sonic generator and automated surface-to-air missile battery, which is nice, but... I don't know where my old friend's just naffed off to. And the event, so I'm not sure. He might have won the event just before I arrived, or it may have just ended. I'm not quite sure. Right, so, we've got ourselves an asylum here in... Uh, this is a bloody big building. And yeah, this is worth exploring, because this here is very much Brotherhood of Steel territory. So, big question. What exactly happened to a Brotherhood of Steel base this big, this well protected, that had flipping missiles presence? Well, they've got this here sonic device. Maybe they were trying to, like, lure the beast in. Because, yeah, the Scorched Beast is like uh, like an evolved bat. It's blatantly like, you know, a rad bat, effectively, just with a fancy, scary title. So maybe you could lure it in. They were planning to lure him in and then just smash him with missiles. Uh, but, can't help but notice, yeah, there's massive piles of Scorched Beast poo floating around. So... It may have worked a little bit too well. Yes. Oh, yeah. The Brother of Steel were dug in deep in this part. They had uh, turrets and barricades and uh, all sorts set up here. And I suppose that makes sense, because, yeah, a hospital like this would have had, like, secured doors uh, and what have you. So we've got the story of the hospital and the story of how the Brotherhood managed to lose the place. We've got a staff incident on that exact topic. Uh, hospital incident report. Resident psychiatrist, Dr. Kessel. One of the junior nurses has suffered a nervous breakdown. His assignments included patient 5A3, whose afflictions manifest in habitual self-harm. Patient 5A4, who, uh, while not violent, does aggressively grab and paw at whoever is trying to administer care. And also patient 5B7 breaks down into loud, unconsolable fits of crying, with no apparent cause or trigger. Uh, that, and the constant attention and sanitary cleanup required throughout the day for all of his charges, was too much for the young nurse. We found him standing outside the door to one of the patient's rooms, carrying a tray of food, but not moving anywhere. One of the other nurses noticed he'd been standing in place for over an hour. When he finally responded to our attempts to get his attention, he seemed surprised at any time had passed. During our exit interview, he broke into tears. He wanted to know if something was wrong with him, if he would end up here as a patient. I explained that nervous exhaustion was a common ailment, especially for hospital workers. Maybe after some months of rest, he could reapply for his job. That didn't seem to console him. Alright, so we've got ourselves, yeah, a very stressful environment to work in. And we've also got ourselves, yeah, on the other side, kind of basically in a little symmetrical room, information from the Brotherhood. To Silver, this was an actual Brotherhood person. So, okay, let's dig into the actual recon. Grant, Grant, Grant. So Grant shows up and starts running all over, checking every room, the generator, the elevator, everything. It would be impressive if it weren't so exhausting. Then Grant starts asking a million questions. How many breaches in the walls? How many doors? Unsecured windows? Then he says we're abandoning this whole wing and the first floor as he trekked up to the second floor. But he says he can get the elevator running again and even install some military security stuff Squire Webber found on a salvage run. So in one day, everything we were planning for Fort Defiance is tossed out. Oh, except the name, that's the one thing Grant liked. Fine, so, well, it sounds like in all fairness, this Grant chap was probably uh, about on the money. He thought it was a bit vulnerable, and everyone did end up dead, so fair enough. And their first sighting of a Scorch Beast back when no one had any idea what it actually was. Some sort of bat flying in from Watoga. The thing flew straight towards us, so we opened up with the miniguns, and I think we literally scared the crap out of it. That was real, right? Cranberry Bog's gotten so very, very strange. Fine, first ever sighting. First floor's clear of ghouls. It's a disaster area. With a little elbow grease, we each have our own room. It's a little scary at night. The others weren't raised with stories about this place. My guess is in a week or two, we'll be ready for Scribe Grant and the others to come on over. The boys now have started calling the place Fort Defiance. Has a nice ring to it. Fine. So, clearly this place had a bit of a horrifying reputation of some description. Let's get on to your recon report and see what we can learn about the surrounding local area. 
Recon notes to self. I knew it. I remember coming here on a school field trip. Walls are as strong as I remember. Paladin's gonna love it. Power lines run underground and connect up to Thunder Mountain. And so much space to grow into. But boy, is the whole thing a fixer-upper. And the smell. And there's a small problem of the ghouls. But we've got power armor and miniguns for that. Do I want to live in a madhouse? Well, it's better than being crammed in like Sardine's Adventure. To Silva out. Alright, so... They just thought this was an excellent little base. And I'm guessing maybe those two rooms over there are the little rooms they were talking about in terms of, yeah, each of them having their own little bit of space. Keep an eye on the up, by the way. There's clearly, yeah, multiple floors to this place and the ceiling sort of collapsed in. This is all within one area. But then again, there's no bed in that room. So maybe that's not... Oh, we can crack this open though. That's nice. Handful of fusion cells, charging laser rifle and a bed. Now this looks more like a place where a Brotherhood person might live. Yes, yeah, sure. I desperately need a workbench though. I'm over capacity right now, so I need to find somewhere where I can break down all this stuff. In particular, all these laser rifles. Because yeah, that's the other reason this area is very good to explore. Every single Brotherhood person tends to be armed with laser weaponry. And laser weaponry means I'm slowly learning more and more and more about how to make my own superior laser pistol. Ooh, the recipe for antibiotics. That's actually pretty damn useful. Ah, but if we've got one problem... Ooh, hello! How did you just make it through? Ah, I was about to say if we've got one problem, this area's a little bit inaccessible because some of the doors were locked down by terminal. But that just means we have to be a bit more creative. So that mole rat just made it through this hole. Now, if I just use the bath as a jumping off point... Nice! Alright, keep exploring the ground floor in that case. And as I'm already over capacity, may as well be even more over capacity. Because that there is screws in their purest form. Nice! Alright, made it to the end of the first floor. Nothing major of note here, but... Another bit of collapsed ceiling. So, heading up to the second floor. Now, and aha! This area is divided in two by that wall right there, so possibly the only way to get up to this half of the building on the second and third floor is to come up through the break at the end there by going through the wall by the dining room. Ah, never mind, we actually have some broken down doors over on this side of the corridor. And this will be back to, uh, yeah, that's back to where I started off fine. So second floor's not too big. No sign of anything hugely interesting yet in that case, so... What's the deal here? There's a clear implication that they came here and they were aware of some, like, old campfire stories or something. Something horrifying about this place, but... Oh! Hello! Probably not mole rats, though. That probably wasn't what the stories were about. Crack open the doors here. See if I can just jump up into... Aha! Well, this is what I needed. Flipping workbenches. Spot on. In particular, I've got, yeah, five different, no, sorry, six different laser weapons. Uh, so that's perfect. Short true barrels, long recon scopes, and uh, all the rest of it too. Keep on breaking it down. Align sniper barrels. Now, that's the nice thing about laser weapons. You can actually boost their damage output with multiple different components. Normally, in most normal guns, uh, yeah, only one component increases the damage, the receiver. But not so much in lasers. In lasers, you can actually put uh, special barrels on that boost damage as well. So they can get quite powerful. Okay, so back on the side of the building I came in on, up on the second floor, we've got ourselves, uh, yeah, this area locked away. No access as far as I can tell from either side in terms of just yeah, going for a hole in the wall. No, but if I were to go up to the third floor and then work my way over, and then down, that might work. So, up the stairs on the far right of the building, as I looked as I was coming in, and that looks like, yeah, I can make it through there, spot on. So, okay, let's do that right now, while I've actually got the second floor in mind. So, through this door, so now I'm through the door, but, ah, there's also, hello, I'm not alone. Right, there's also the elevator. Now, that was locked away to... Yes, I hear you. I know you're here somewhere. 
Okay, they've got a little armory up here. That's locked away behind just type 1. That's... Ooh! Hello! The Overseer was here. Right, well, that's nice to know. Right, well, we're having just a little loopsy round. Hello there, Overseer. Overseer's Log, Allegheny. A mental asylum as a last stand against the Scorched. Brave, crazy, and crazy brave. The Army way. At least I'm pretty sure the Brotherhood had former U.S. Army members, judging by the security systems. If only they had survived. What I wouldn't give to have a few of America's finest watching my back right now. As it is, I'll have to find out how they were planning to combat the Scorched on my own. Once I can figure out a way through these doors. Alright, well the doors don't seem too difficult to me right now. Whack on... Yeah, we can just get rid of weapon artisan. We don't need that on when we're not actually repairing weapons. Uh, so just put, yeah, basic hacker on for the time being uh, and crack through here. Nothing too dramatic, to be honest. Fair bit of ammo. Two mini nukes, if that's your sort of thing. So if you need mini nukes, good source of them uh, right there. Various guns I'm not really using or interested in. Uh, I'll take a charging sniper rifle purely to break it down straight afterwards. Uh, we also got ourselves... Uh, yeah. A bunch of logs and all sorts of personal business around here. Right. This is where we're going to learn some useful stuff. And here we go. Preservation of technology. Obviously a Brotherhood ideal that we've known about for a long time. Did it start this early? Congratulations, Appalachia. Paladin Taggarty told me of your victory at Huntersville. I know it was costly, but future generations will thank you. As I am thanking you now. It makes me proud. But that's not why I'm calling. One of the Brotherhood's standing orders is being on the lookout for valuable technology. Anything that would help us in our efforts. But as I look in every direction, I see chaos. The lights are out, and men have become little better than barbarians. Civilization. Civilization is something I think of every day. <laughs> I know Lizzie is probably sick of the word by now. To rebuild that, to reclaim that, our successors are going to need the secrets of the past. And those secrets are in danger of slipping through our fingers forever. So far, our scribes have been tools to help protect our knights and maintain our bases. That needs to change. The Brotherhood is going to be more than an armed fighting force. We are going to be the guardians of civilization. So we have to grab every schematic, every holotape, every book, every goddamn note that holds the building blocks of the old world before it is too late. Our scribes will hold on to them, preserve them, perhaps even progress beyond them. And the knights will protect them like a hard shell around a precious seed. One day when the time is right, that seed will grow and a new civilization will be born. This... This is why we were born. Don't you see it? Helping your fellow man is a good goal, a soldier's goal. But this, we will be the catalyst that changes the world. I'm sure you have questions. Ballad integrity is fully briefed. I have every faith in you, Appalachia. Elder Maxon, out. All right, little message from Elder Maxon himself there. The very first Roger Maxon. And yeah, it's sort of... Uh... Interesting to hear that take on the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood uh, has always sort of veered between isolationism and not. They were never an isolationist society, really. Rather, if they were, it never lasted very long. They always swayed uh, from being isolationist to realising that it was a bit of a dead end. Like in Fallout New Vegas, like at the end of Fallout 1, and... Is this water supposed to be this colour? Is this... Is this supposed to be, like... I don't know if I'm supposed to be assuming this is some form of odd experiment, if this is a visual bug. It could be either of the above. Now what's perhaps also a bit surprising is, no way to drop down. Except, of course, the elevator. If I could access the elevator from either the first or the third floor, that would let me take the elevator down to the second floor and be behind the lockdown. Right, time to figure out what's going on here. We got ourselves a personal terminal here. Ah! Regged a new personnel. Fine. Security system is straight up military hardware. If you only grew up before, there's no getting in. When Scribe Grant isn't knee deep in vital brotherhood tasks, he will make it so civvies can be registered to stop belly aching. Hang on a flipping minute here. 
I've gone and joined the army. I did the automated process at Fort McClintock. Does that not mean I can do anything? Ooh, I don't know. Possibly, it's not that simple. Possibly, I need, yeah, the ID of some of these guys. So, Ted Wilson, Grant McNamara, Tex Rogers, Enrique Belmonte, or Squire Evelyn. Alright, anything else I need to know about here? Doesn't look like it. Fine, so I assume I need the ID from one of them lads. Now, notes. Notes flipping everywhere on this area. Operation with Toga. The cost is just too high. Once we have Scorch Beast under control, we can again consider additional forays into Watoga. Fine, so they were totally interested in Watoga, but they just didn't have the manpower to pull it off. And after that, we got ourselves uh, no more satellites. It's been so long since communication fell without a max and lost hills. Aha, I see. So, they were briefly in communication, enough to send, like, you know, a few motivational messages. Uh, been taken out, run out of fuel, orbit degraded, whatever it is that happens to satellites if no one's maintaining them, which I assume someone is doing for actual satellites, yes. So, Paladin Taggedy's amazing, she truly is, uh, but I miss the Elder. I remember sitting in Cap Venture, and he had a vision of some way through this hell on Earth to something approaching what we lost. I can't imagine a better general than Paladin Taggedy, but what I'd give to sit down and listen one more time to the old man tell us what could be. And by the way, I'm in danger. Alright, not quite sure what's supposed to be attacking me right now. Oh, I'm guessing it might be a cryptid or something because it's making the angry noise that it generally plays when there's cryptids on the field. Yes, gotcha. I may have just upset one from one floor up. Alright, we've also got page 16 of Squire Evelyn's journal. Now, she was allowed access. Belmonte went AWOL for days and came back pleased as a peacock. After Esperito chewed him out, he filed out, grabbed his gear, and walked straight through the security door. Everyone was shitting bricks. The paladin herself interrogated him for hours, but now Belmonte's bunked up with the thunder, and the rest of us scrubs are parked on her ass out here. So I cornered Belmonte and asked how the hell he breached security. Only military personnel can get through that. And he was some sort of mechanic pre-war. All he'd tell me is, Camp McClintock! I've literally done that. I have done Camp McClintock. All right, I am ready for this. Okay, so I've been to Camp McClintock, but it's still asking for a valid US military ID, which I'm guessing means it wants a holotape. Oh, hello! I might have actually just found a much easier way to get up to the second floor, however. At least a little bit. A lot of ghouls just seem to have, uh, reappeared. Hello up there. Okay. Or maybe this is a half of the hospital I've never been to before. Right, because there's definitely stairs up that would logically therefore lead to, you know, the second floor right there. And a level up from just finishing off a handful of these bastards here as well. While they try and interrupt me during my very important lock picking. Right, upstairs on this side of the hospital, so this brings me back up onto the second floor, but I should now be, I think, on the far side of the security gates. Oh yeah, figured it might be some form of nasty Wendigo thing, but that's fine. Naff off, Gollum, nobody likes you. You're only level 42. You can just, excuse me, go up. Way, please. We good? Need to just quickly sort out issues with my broken leg, but that's fine. Stick a quick stim pack in you, no problem whatsoever. Okay, what have you got on you? You've got yourself... Ooh, loose screws times eight. Well, I will very gladly take that, thank you. Okay, here we are. So now, I've made it round to the far side of these here doors. So I didn't need the elevator... For that, just looping through, yeah, to the far side on the right of the ground floor, then up through the ghouly area. That's all absolutely flipping fine. Grab myself a new quantum and... Table, are you feeling okay? The table's not feeling very well. Let's just walk away from the table. Now, this here power cable. Where's this? Hang on. This is going... You're putting power upwards. Okay. Follow the cable. So we've made it through to this area now, taken out a flipping level 42 Wendigo. The cable's being fed through to... hang on. Why are you feeding that? To here. Okay. Right. Well, let's just flick it to the opposite position. 
from what it was in when I arrived. That feels like a good sort of thing to do. Well, I've found power buttons and circuit breakers and all sorts of things that feel like, yeah, they should be very relevant to something. But I'm guessing, as there was an overseer chest there and a tape, I may have once again accidentally done a bit of sequence breaking here. And the reason I can't actually make any progress is because, uh, yeah, the game doesn't want me to yet. Because technically I've kind of skipped ahead in the story. So it's not going to give me any form of helpful advice on how to proceed. Which is fine. We're here in the Cranberry Bog. And that's actually, yeah, do a little bit of uh, moving forward here. Or rather, moving backwards, I suppose. Anyway, I'm going to follow the road back into the Savage Divide. The very south. Of the Savage Divide, in fact, because, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here I haven't really seen yet. So if I just kind of follow the... That is totally the wrong direction. No, the other way. The other way up the road. I was just running the wrong way. Because, yeah, there's this flipping massive building here. Possibly the biggest thing I've seen so far. But then again, looking at it now, is that just actually a ridiculously high raised monorail track thing? It could be, you know. Yeah, here we go. So the monorail track that was leading out of Watoga does rather seem to be going sort of in this direction. Yeah, it's going through it. Whatever this thing is, most definitely... All right. Head up here. Follow the monorail track. There was some huge thing, but... Oh, no way. Hang on. Could this be an elevator that passed the monorail up? Like, you know, going swing, 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 like that. Could it be an elevator to get the monorail up to the top of the... Oh, it could be, you know. I'm not sure, but... Oh, maybe bigger than that. Like, it's just a single massive pivot. So, like, the monorail went in and then it went... Whoop, up to the top. Oh, that's really cool. That's so damn cool. Right, this is like a... A mono Yeah, it's a monorail elevator! Which literally rotated the monorail that was like, yeah, floating inside like a rotating gyro pivot, whatever. Oh, wow. This thing is flipping massive and I'm in love with it. Right, okay. So, question is, what actually lives here now in that case? I'm guessing I can't make this thing work. As amazing as that would be, I'm guessing that's not going to be viable. Okay, things we can do. If there's an emergency door... Yeah, okay, fine. We can get up into the train by going in through the front here. And then just fighting our way up. So, uh, this thing just... Actually, why would this thing have crashed? Yeah, it's another one of those scenarios where Fallout 76 kind of wants to have it both ways. Where technically the bombs didn't hit West Virginia directly. Because there was a bunch of, you know, post-war drama. But then again, sometimes it just wants to have these really cool set pieces. That could really only possibly exist if the bombs did actually detonate. So, right. Probably don't want to drop out of that, by the way. So there's generators. There's... Hmm... I don't see a way of climbing this thing, which is the saddest thing in the world, but I don't really see a way forward here. Unless, of course, there was an elevator. An elevator that could take me right up to the flipping top, because that, that would just be the best thing in the world ever. Yeah, take me up to the second floor, please, that's through a flipping load zone, because it's so far up. Oh... Oh, this is everything I've ever wanted out of an elevator. It's an elevator and an elevator and... Wait, what? Hang on, what? Wait. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I thought that was closer than it actually was. Right, so now... Now I'm a bloody long way up, right? And that... That looks like an actual... Yeah, like a nuke strike site, in fact. All right, we're up to... Oh, this is nice. This is nice. But there's Watoga. Hello, Watoga. Right, we've got... Oh, blimey heck. Yeah, we've got ourselves... Oh, we can... We can climb through this whole area. And also, there's a garden gnome up here. Because, of course, there is. And a whole bunch of skulls and balls and whatnot. Oh, can I actually... Can I actually climb through this thing? Oh, there's a weather system. Hello, weather system. And for some reason, there's also a huge amount of... Oh, weights. They were using weights to... Oh, this is... Don't fall. Don't fall off this thing or you will die. All right. So this is the monorail that was at the top of the actual... Oh, blimey. Oh, okay. Slightly vertigo-ish. Slightly vertigo-ish. Right. Through here. Person with... Oh, 
Person holding a bouquet of flowers and comrade chubs. That's just flipping lovely. And someone else who was just doing some... Ooh. Someone who was just doing some animal control. Excellent. Park ranger. Maybe had a cage once upon a time. Right. So now... Crouch down. Step through here. And I've made it over to... This side. The question is... What exactly is... On this side of the monorail elevator? Because I'm not all the way across. Well, actually, I'm... I'm kind of the way across. It's just I need to... I need to go through this bit. Hmm. Okay. Hang on. Is there anything I can do to force the... Ooh. There's another elevator right here. Okay. Does this just take me... I'm assuming this takes me to... No. There's a three. Oh, keep on cracking on. Oh, I'm already on three. Right. Well, in which case, where's two? Okay. So now I'm in the middle of the monorail elevator. Right. So what's the advantage of being in the... Ooh. This is where the main control booth for the monorail elevator was. Oh, this is so cool. This I don't even care that there's not much here. Just because it's so cool. It's just as a piece of architecture. I've made the tactical decision to put on my power armor before I try and see how far I can actually get about or if there's anything else to be done by just hopping around on top of the actual... Yeah, the outside bits. Because I'm feeling like this. This is just a terrible, terrible idea. Well, there's a little bit of stuff out here. Oh, there's there's an alien trying to eat a death claw egg. Well, you know what? I shall turn that into a death claw omelette and that'll do. Though, yeah, sadly, I don't see a way, mainly because the track just sort of... Is that a question of draw distance or bugging out? I'm not sure. The track doesn't actually seem to go far up. This is cool, though. Right, well, I can take the fast way down, fortunately. Where am I going next, by the way? If I were to head... Ah. I physically can't head that way because there's mountains in the way. In which case, I probably want to get down and follow the road north because that way is Huntersville. And I kind of want to go to Huntersville because, yeah, I wanted to see what is going on with the... Oh, blimey, this is quite the drop. I put power... Yes, I'm wearing power armor. I'm fine. I've also just discovered the freak show, which is of interest. There's, oh, there's a bee swarm up there. Don't shoot bullets at a bee swarm. That's a very silly idea. Would you have, oh, hello. Yeah, I see you guys over there. How about we just put some explosives on top of you? Just to, you know, help out a little bit. And we've got ourselves gray wolves here. Everyone dead? Yep, those were some well-placed grenades. I'll be taking some meat off all of you. I'm a bit on the peckish side, to be honest. Right, the freak show. What is this place? And why is it called the... Ah. I'm guessing... Once upon a... Oh! Hello over there! You're one of those... Uh, yeah, you're one of those... Oh, blimey heck. Yeah, just finish off the honey beast and maybe, like, it's friends. Well, why am I shooting it in the tail right now? That, that doesn't help me at all. I'm being very stung. Right, now, do you die if you're... This is a terrible idea. Right, no, 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 no. I'm being very stung right now. Uh, get out the blade of Bastet. Go up way. I think it's gone. It's not really how bee swarms work, but okay. Yep, multiple honeybees floating around here. Lovely. Including gold and adhesive. Not so bad at all, really. In fact, ooh, honeycomb. I'll be eating that. I think I'm a bit on the peckish side. They also had an art gallery, which is a human skeleton bicycle. And I truly, truly wish I was allowed to actually ride this around in low-level areas just to freak out new players. Because that, that would just be wonderful. And they've also, ah, they've created fake cryptids by just kind of stitching bits of meat together. That's cute. Right, so next on my to-do list should be just follow the road. It should bear around the left. Let me get to, yeah, a nice high up spot. Pretty darn soon. Here's the corner. Just follow this round. This should lead me straight to Huntersville. The town that, yeah, hello over there. You're just a withered feral. You're nothing to worry about at all. Yeah, the town where West Tech stole all its people from and turned them into super mutants. And then, uh, potentially, some of them went back home again after being exposed to FEV, which is probably very bad. And I've also just found the, the Devil's Backbone. Okay. What do you mean the devil's backbone? What exactly is the... 
This bit of cliff? Is that the devil's backbone? I'm not sure. Ooh, I think I see something up ahead, though. Is that a Grafton monster? Parasitic Grafton monster. All right, go over to the shotgun. And if we can do, get a grenade or two on it before we actually engage proper. We want to be up close, hitting it with every critical we've got, which is... Ooh, hang on. Before we engage, actually, I've got that level up. Now, we're going to the assumption it's going to be luck, because I would like to potentially say, yeah, critical savvy too. Class Freak, negative effect of mutations reduced by 25%, up to 75% off. Very, very nice indeed. And what else do we have that's new today? Nerd Rage, below 20% health, 20 damage resistance, 15 AP regen, 10% damage up to... I tell you what, 20% damage is quite significant, but probably not enough to justify taking it immediately. Tenderizer, make your target receive 5% more damage for 5 seconds after you attack. Not bad, not bad at all to be honest, up to... Ah, only up to 7. So the first rank of that might be worth taking, just because, yeah, any attack will make them be 5% more vulnerable, which is uh, quite significant. Nope, nothing else stands out, in which case, yep, Critical Savvy 2, welcome aboard. Now, slight issue, where did that, uh-oh. Where did the Grafton monster go? Why is it, ooh, it's over there. Right, uh, you, have a grenade, please. And that did some good work to you. Another grenade right there. Oh, it's... Okay, it's on the move. It's on the move now. Right, well, now I'm up close and personal. I'm not sure you can get up to me because I'm up on the raised road right here. So this is actually quite an easy pick-off of you, my good man. Lovely. And, ooh, blimey, even the massive cryptids bloody mess into giblets. Those are some quite large giblets, though. I'll be taking the money. I'll be taking the... Okay, stop rolling around, please. Uh, I'll take the acid and the oil. I'll leave the minigun. I don't need that. Thank you. Now, as I would have expected, we're coming up on Huntersville. And straight away, it's mutants. Fine. Dangerous, hazardous materials. So, as we should... Uh-oh. I hear flapping. Wait, hang on. Last time I heard flapping... Yeah, you know what? If you guys would like to try and take out... Yeah, you know what? This is fine. Enemy, enemy equals friend. And all of that business. If you guys just want to... Yep, go for it. Boom, 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 I say. I say screw you. I'd say, with the assistance of some soup mutants, we might actually have a bit more of a shot here. Right, into town we go, but I need to find some cover. I need to find some cover. Yep, I'm in Huntersville. Hello over there. Right, you guys, have a grenade, please. And that should be about... Yep, that was placed about right spot on. You two, however, did need to go down. And now I've got myself a house I can use. As that's not a house I can use as cover. That's ouch, 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 ouch. This is more like it. This is much more like it. Now I've got myself a bit of cover I can utilize. Yes, good. Right, put a stim pack on it. Now, where exactly... Are you? Need to go over to voice of set or do... No, voice of set's too low range. I need something that's got range on it. Which means, yeah, I'm relying on the actual pipe pistol again. Marvellous. So me and the super mutants are now just joining up. Being best friends. That's all absolutely fine. And if he just wants to finish off some super mutants for me as well. That's cool. I'm fine with all of that. We'll just slowly wear you down, you stupid bastard. Here's good. I got myself an upstairs here. So we can actually see what's going on. Where is he? Where's he naffed off to? Oh, is the Scorch Beast run? He might have run, you know. And if he has, I'm happy to put a grenade right there. Few lads. And nice. Good, good, good. Two super mutants dead. And in comes a... Oh, a master. That's a bit more on the dangerous side. Right, in that case, looks like you were charging at me coming for a melee. Happy to critical you in the head, my good man. Where are you? Yep, figured as much. Oh, yeah. Them criticals, they're doing the job, thank you. It'll be very annoying, by the way, if I kill all these guys and then the Scorch Beast immediately comes back. <laughs> Just to kind of say, you know, ooh, hello, one. There's actually a bobblehead right here. An explosives bobblehead, too. Right, where are you, my good man? Right, that'll do the job right there, you stupid alpha. And one more will finish you off. Thank you. Plasma grenades are very nice indeed. I'll be taking some of all of this business. 
So yeah, fear confirmed, this place most definitely fell to super mutants. As a result of, yeah, probably the guys from West Tech going home. Ouch, 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 ouch. Sorry, didn't realise you were standing right there. And you can just go down to a critical. Oh yeah, critical shot, one to the head, and you are done. Lovely. And these guys also produce a lot of caps. Yeah, these guys just drop uh, caps and, uh, and gunpowder by default. So they're a very good way of getting rich fast. Now, question is, uh, can I have my theory actually confirm that it was the lads from West Tech that caused this disaster? Ah, hello there. I've found Walter Griswold's, which has actually got me a Trapper Key Fragment. So that's presumably one of the five key fragments I need for, yeah, the Secret Vault, which is something I was totally ignoring, but I found it anyway. Beautiful. Now, here's interesting. South side of town, gates, together with lights and a short road that apparently doesn't lead anywhere. So why exactly is a road to literally nowhere being guarded by gates, spikes, and all the rest of it? All right, hello there. What secrets are you hiding today? And the answer is, oh, oh, it's a fog crawler. Right, you lads are back, are ya? Well, let's just put a couple of grenades on you then. Just to, you know, get a bit of... Oh. Are you... Are you resistant to explosives? Uh, no, no, you most definitely are not. Good, 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 good. Oh, you're a little bit on the tough side, though. A little bit on the tough side. Right, nice to see you lads back again. Right, one, two, three, four. Ouch! They sting. Right, number one is... Dead as soon as my shotgun bloody reloads. Right, and number two. Right, critical into the head and then finish you off two fog crawlers not so bad all things considered so you guys give me fiber optic bundles and focused gamma wave laser rifles lardy flipping da it is admittedly slightly odd how yeah cryptids or other like mini bosses seem to actually routinely drop the same sorts of unusual junk so you know the honeybee things regularly have oh there's more of them yeah there's flipping more of them to come yeah, those guys have routinely got gold. These guys have got fiber optics bundles. Why do fog crawlers have fiber optics bundles? That doesn't make much sense. There's something going on. I don't know, but I'm just going to keep putting grenades. Because mainly I need to get rid of grenades. I've got way too many grenades right now. And critical. And a few more shots to the head. will bring you down just in a time. All right. That worked out pretty well for me. And yeah. Fiber optics bundles, because. Now, what is this place? Why exactly did I come up here? Because there's a road up here, but it doesn't seem to have led to anything much. Unless, ah, this place was nuked. Right. Why? Why was this place hit by a missile? Because, yeah, maybe there was the odd bit of nuking going on. Was this a military base and thus was a priority target for the Chinese? Possible, I suppose. No, nope, there's slight wreckage of a building here, but... Nothing even remotely in one piece, by the looks of things. A handful of mongrels still picking over the debris. And there is... well... Okay, the most solid thing we've got here is probably... This here vertebird. But even that has got... no. Nothing in it at all. Fine, looks like we've just got a bomb site up here in that case. Once upon a time this place was important, but not anymore. Mostly just generic loot so far, but I have found myself a working terminal. Gale. Was that one of the people who actually worked in West Tech? I'm trying to remember here. Things are finally looking up around Huntersville. We're about three months into a rural development grant from the government. We already have a brand new water recycling system and sewer lines. The days of dealing with dirty well water have finally come to an end. Thomas McDevitt over at the farm said they're tying the new water lines into his irrigation system. Not sure how we ever won the grant, but finally this little town has been given the boost it needs. Right, okay, some form of big corporation, probably West Tech set that up then. And West Tech are paying some of the local farmers for testing rights at their farms. Right, so, oh, uh-oh, 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 I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. Yes, oh, I'm glad I moved when I did. Right, who's just shown up again? Hello over there. Oh, 
Is it you guys who just regenerated by any flipping chance? Because I bet it flipping is. Ah, and the situation at West Tech starts to make sense. It's been a tough month, people have been falling ill, and Thomas McDevitt said he was going to head over and chat up the West Tech folks to see if one of their doctors can lend us a hand. That's how they did it. They weren't abducting people. They said, oh no, you've got sick from the virus we totally intentionally introduced into your water supply. How about you come up to our facility and we'll heal you? And they didn't. They did the FEV experiments. Right. Interesting. Except the question now is, was the initial outbreak an accident or not? Because uh, this rare strain of the flu is making people turn green and the bodies deforming. Now, it could just be some FEV managed to just, like, leak into their water supply, the whole town was infected, and West Tech saw it as a good opportunity to lock the place down and study it, or they could have done that intentionally. But honestly, putting it into the water intentionally strikes me as uh, very reckless. Okay, fine. Doing it to one person at a time inside your lab is monstrous, but at least it makes sense. This is just asking for a disaster. Well, here's fun. I was just heading around, you know, the outside of the town, seeing if I could find access to, like, the sewers or whatever that were mentioned in the note, the new water system. And I found a, uh, a Brotherhood graveyard here. Brotherhood corpses and, uh, Brotherhood helmets left above, yeah, Brotherhood graves. So, the Brotherhood at some point were... they were here. There's graveyard notes pinned up. Squire de... Oh, De Silva! Okay, so this is where you ended up, is it? This is where, yeah, De Silva, whose name we've heard before, this is where they ended up. And here's another Brotherhood corpse right here. Do we have a note for you? No, just a combat shotgun. Left buried with your weapons. More laser rifles as well, and... Uh, who's this one in that case? Paladin Swafford. Don't remember seeing that name there, but yeah... For whatever reason, this here was the spot that quite a few of the Brotherhood died, which is odd. I'm not sure why this particular spot would be where they went out. Well, I don't feel like I'm quite done with the Brotherhood yet, and there's one more location. Well, yeah, and now I should be able to find something because I briefly visited this place during the Xbox beta, which is the dam just north of Morgantown. Yeah, there were some Brotherhood notes floating around there, which might make a lot more sense. Now I actually know roughly what's going on in the world. Here we are, Grafton Dam. Beautiful, and when I say beautiful, horrible and disgusting, because that's kind of how it's supposed to be, in fact. Right, avoid the rad barrels and... Hello. What is... What's that there? And also, who are you? Level 22. Nothing too bad at all, no. You guys are going to be just fine. Might need to go over to the shotgun, depending on how many of you there are. And by the way, you coming this way? Yes, you are. How about we lay down some nice fire? Just set you guys on fire as you rush at me. Because you idiots will just run straight through the fire. Yes, you 100% will. Well done. Well done to everyone involved right now. This is all just marvellous. Now, as we were, the tapes that I've run into before, I think. So I got my own command now. Bet you never thought that would happen, right? With all the new blood sergeant's training, I mean, night, senior night, met up with the representative of the responders. I told her our mission to escort trade caravans, keep the freaks from the savage divide away from civilization, and maybe get the dam operational. She was so grateful, it was almost embarrassing. <laughs> Day one complete, and so far so good. But I miss you. And the hot shower. But mostly you. The old rules about fraternization, I don't know if they apply in the Brotherhood. Maybe we can just come clean and tell Pallet and Taggarty about us. I know you'd like kids one day too, and we're not getting any younger. I promise you'll think about it. Love you. Now, Johnny Marino, that's a name we know, but this is him in his early days, just after the army became the Brotherhood. But that was actually the same guy who we, yeah, heard on the transceiver thing that we actually replayed the message of down in the Cranberry Bog. 
That was him. He was leading strike teams deeper and deeper into the bog, so he did all right for himself. And a tape down over here as well. Uh, final orders for Graft and Dam. So yeah, I think we saw this before, but yeah, now it makes a lot more sense. So Camp Venture within the month, you should be back there. And packing up, keep Elder Maxon's new orders in mind. Fine, so this was a change in direction, Maxon saying, guard technology, gotcha. News contents you've gathered with the responders and even the free states, see if they know of any hidden caches of technology. Heard Savage Divide had some government research installations. Yep, been there, good stuff there actually, you're not wrong. And that was why they abandoned the dam. They were trying to restore power, but then, yeah, the orders came in from the Brotherhood in the West, basically saying, no, actually, focus on gathering and preserving technology now. So uh, that was the first move towards isolationism, in fact. And that led them to abandon the dam, I see. And uh, Battle of Huntersville. Well, I didn't know this was here, but this is bloody convenient, because, yeah, I was literally just there, and there's a pile of corpses. Civilization. The Brotherhood and responders together have paid a high price to make that word mean something in Appalachia. Despite all the changes, farmers have worked the land. People have learned new skills and we've built a new world. And the super mutants threaten all of that. I'm a soldier, a paladin. And I tell you that this is our moment. We will never be stronger and the super mutants never weaker. If you're thinking in the heat of battle to run, to live to fight another day, know this. There is no other day. We win here, now. Responders and Brotherhood together, or we will die. So look to your left, look to your right. Promise to give your all to protect them, and they will protect you. Make no mistake, this will be the toughest fight of our lives. But we will win. Because we're fighting for something, for each other, for our children, for civilization. Now, let's show these muties what we're made of. Alright, so the Brotherhood and the Responders ended up in an alliance. But then here's where it gets interesting, because we know the Battle of Huntersville happened pretty early on in events. Because Maxon referred to it in his tape, so that was before the satellites went down and Maxon fell out of contact. And he implied the battle was won at great cost, and we know that's true, because we saw the graveyard. And yet super mutants were still in the town, so I guess they won at a massive cost, but it didn't even matter. The super mutants just took the town back afterwards. And I think if I saw correctly, yeah, we actually had T-60s on the legs there, left and right, both level 40. Pretty decent, actually. You know what? I'll take them. Oh yeah, that'll do. Very, very nice indeed. In fact, I'd say it's time to take my new improved power armor for a bit of a spin. Because, yeah, I think there's one final note here. And Marino's a fine comms officer, not the best pick for command. Oh no, he proved you wrong. He turned out to be a right badass down in the Cranberry Bog. We've seen it. And that would explain why there was a crunch battle at Huntersville. They were desperately trying to connect the settlements that they were trying to maintain in the Maya with here. Only way through, Savage Divide, and the Super Mutants in Huntersville, right in the middle of the main road that linked the two. Now that makes a lot more sense. And a bit more detail on, yeah, Johnny Marino's actual terminal here. Power means we'll have an easier time keeping Morgantown and Harper's Ferry trade flowing. So, the two biggest, most successful post-war communities, uh, sounds like it was Morgantown and Harper's Ferry, potentially after Charleston was flooded by the raiders which is why they were trying to protect it and why they went to war for Huntersville, I see. Now, kind of but notice, yes, there's a wanted person just chilling out somewhere very close by the other side of the map. Yes, he's wanted. I'm aware. Oh, he's wanted for five caps. Honestly, do I really need to go to war with this guy? If he didn't want to do the time, he shouldn't have done the crime. Off we flipping go. There he is. Is he on the run right now? I don't know if he is on the run. He might be running back to his base. I'm just going to pretend I'm just walking past here. I'm just going to give him a friendly hello. No reason to cause any trouble with him. Just going to pretend I'm just walking past, just walking past, just walking past, just walking past. Surprise! I'm actually shooting you in the face! Bye! Right, there we go. Got your stuff off you. Marvellous. Claimed my five caps. Justice has been served. Don't do it again. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I would say that is enough for now. But... Having just gone up to the dam, yeah, I think there's one big area of the map we haven't really visited yet, which actually feels like it's not the biggest area at all. 
I would not mind nipping up into the Toxic Valley. So next time, we might go and have a little explore around there. Because we've got ourselves, uh, yeah, Grafton. Where the Mayor of Grafton occasionally just kind of sets us slightly weird little missions up there. We got ourselves uh, some form of apparently significant hotel. The massive, great, wonderful Alligator Water Park. Somewhere up here, there's a flipping space station as well. So, uh, yeah. Nipping up to this part of the world, having a quick explore around, seeing what's going on in Grafton, does not strike me as the worst idea in the world at all. So, that is what we will begin with next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 76. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.